Also tonight, dozens of New Yorkers stuck in licensing limbo. Yeah, their frustrations tonight are building as a lawsuit filed by a man from Michigan now stands between these folks and their legal marijuana businesses. Now, soon after New York State legalized recreational marijuana, it announced people with or impacted by prior cannabis convictions would get the first shot at retail licenses. The state making good on that promise late last month when the Cannabis Board approved 28 licenses for people in that category. But these licenses weren't exactly distributed evenly across the entire state, including regions that have been left out, including right here in Western New York. And that is because of this lawsuit. Kenneth Gay is suing New York for discrimination after the Cannabis Board disqualified his license application. Gay's cannabis conviction was in Michigan not New York, and a judge now temporarily blocking licenses in five regions where Gay wanted to open stores. That includes Western New York, Central New York, and Brooklyn. So what comes next for the people in these regions? 7 News reporter anchor Taylor Epps joins us now in her in-depth look for the answers here. Taylor. Well, Jeff, anyone who wants to sell legally in Western New York is waiting on the sidelines right now. We have growers and processors, but no legal licensed sellers right now. So I spoke with the Office of Cannabis Management today, and I'm told the plan is to have legal sales happen by the end of this year, but because of that court case, it won't be happening here in Western New York. You could see open signs hanging in the doors of New York dispensaries by the end of this year, but not here in Western New York. We have growers, we have processors in the area. We don't have anywhere selling it. The only licenses out there right now are for people with prior cannabis convictions. This lawsuit is what stands in the way for any Western New Yorker looking to open up shop. I sat down with Elise Bergio, general counsel for MJI Solutions, to break down why. What ended up happening was someone who applied had had a crime committed in Michigan and not in New York. And so they created created a lawsuit that basically said this violates constitutional law. So this means the five regions where he applied are now barred from receiving licenses for the time being. This includes Western New York. Western New York is now not getting dispensaries for all this grow that we have right now because there's 277 growers that are looking to now sell into the market. It's tough right now being in the business and having this very slow progression. And people are frustrated. I spoke to one man on the phone who wants to open a dispensary in Buffalo. He applied in September, paid the fee, and has been waiting ever since. He tells me he's determined to open with a license one day, but it's hard having to wait. So I brought those concerns to the Office of Cannabis Management. We desperately want to, you know, make sure that they feel included in this card process. I can't comment anymore on open litigation, but I would just let you know that the Office of Cannabis Management is working towards uh, making sure that all New Yorkers have access. Trevette Knowles is the public affairs press officer for OCM and says the focus right now is on education, safety, and working with those who have their licenses to open up as soon as possible. Tell, I know some people are going to be like, why is this taking so long? And I reject that only so far as, you know, in the same way you build a bridge uh, to create a new infrastructure for the market, people to move, that this cannabis industry is going to be around for the next 100 years and we're really excited to get it started. But it's not all of Western New York left waiting in the wings. In fact, when you pass this sign, you'll find a business thriving. We're just constantly getting bigger and bigger. They've got gummies, chocolate bars, even weed infused slushies here at the lab dispensary in Irving, drawing people from all over. Western New York, Pennsylvania, they come from Ohio, they come from, uh, we, I've seen them all the way as far as Georgia. Owner Michael Jimerson tells me the state doesn't interfere with his business since he's operating on native land. While the rest of Western New York has to wait, he's open seven days a week. I don't see anything but great things for everybody who, um, who anybody who has a dispensary, there's nothing but great things for him. So a lot of questions left now, right? When can we see state license dispensaries open in Western New York? OCM tells me the license applications to the general public will open in the second half of next year at the earliest. The good news here is that lawsuit will not impact those licenses here in Western New York. But this is also new. So what could happen if somebody else decides to sue? Well, we don't know. We all just have to keep waiting.